Hi, everyone. As we're gearing up for the OSCO annual meeting, let's talk a little bit about some best practices for using social media for oncology education. Whether you're an oncologist, a trainee, or even a patient, social media can really help spread valuable knowledge and foster a supportive and informed community. Incorporating learning science principles into your social media strategy can really help you improve the effectiveness of your educational content. Let's talk about some best practices when we think about using social media for oncology education. First, it's really important to choose the right platform. Finding the best platform is crucial because each one offers unique strengths that can cater to different audiences and educational objectives. For example, Twitter or X or LinkedIn are great places for professional networking and sharing research or educational content with colleagues. In contrast, platforms like Instagram or Facebook are better for connecting with broader audiences and sharing patient-friendly information and visual content. The second best practice is the importance of creating and curating quality content. Here, quality is much more important than quantity. Quality content is really at the core of effective oncology education on social media and helps to ensure that information is accurate, engaging, and comprehensible. So when you're creating your own content, you want to start with a clear objective. Why are you posting? Is it to share research, offer clinical advice, provide patient education? Being intentional here is really going to make your content better. You want to ensure that your posts are informative and clear, whether you're sharing guidelines, journal articles, clinical trial updates, what have you, um, making sure that you're doing this in an easy to understand format is imperative. So one thing that you could think about doing is using bullet points or short paragraphs to summarize complex studies. Things like graphics and visuals can make stats and medical jargon way more accessible and using relevant hashtags can help you reach a broader audience. Third, as an educator, I love to talk about learning science principles. Incorporating proven learning science principles into your social media strategy can really boost knowledge retention and engagement, which makes your educational efforts more impactful. So I want to share three of them with you that can, that can be beneficial. One is the spacing effect. So the principle here is that retention improves when learning is spread out over time. So when it comes to your social media strategy, you might think about sharing educational posts on the same topic periodically spread out over days or weeks. The second is retrieval practice. So the principle here is that actively recalling information improves retention. So in terms of social media, creating polls, quizzes, or even a question of the day um, can help your posts become more impactful on the educational front. And third is dual coding. So the principle here is that combining text and visuals enhances learning. So again, in terms of your social media strategy, using things like infographics or diagrams or illustrations to explain oncology concepts alongside, alongside concise textual descriptions is really gonna take your educational efforts to the next level. Finally, Remember that fostering a welcome and welcoming and collaborative environment can really lead to greater engagement and more effective knowledge sharing online. So participate in oncology related hashtags, reply to comments and questions, engage with posts from, from fellow oncologists, advocacy groups, or patients to really foster an open dialogue. When used thoughtfully and strategically, social media can really be a tremendous tool for oncology education. Whether you're sharing cutting edge research, demystifying treatment options, or simply offering support, following these best practices and learning principles will really help you maximize your influence online while positively contributing to the oncology community.